Good morning guys, it's June 5th. I managed to peel myself out of bed out of a, off a 51 hour shift. Um, so I wanted to show you guys something. And uh, so we're gonna have a bit of a video series here, so prepare yourself. Obviously right now you're looking at the tent, uh, at the Fent 1050 with triples. We ran this all seating um, this year and last year. Then over here, we got the John Deere 560RT. Um, it's not the new 9 series, or uh, yeah, it's not the new uh, series by any means. I think it's like a 2014. It's got like 4,000 hours on it. Tracks starting to get wore out, but uh, this old girl really pulls. And then over here, we have uh, my 9620RX. My coffee mug. I'm still trying to wake up here. Um, and this tractor is the heaviest out of them all. And then, last but very not least, we have this. The Fent 1167 two-track. This just got dropped off yesterday morning. We have it, we have it for three days. And uh, obviously it just sat here all day yesterday because, well, spraying comes first. Farming always comes first, you guys. That's something you guys gotta remember. <coughs> I'm a farmer. I don't even classify myself as a YouTuber. I'm a farmer who does some YouTubing. Uh, so yesterday, there was like no wind. It was really good spraying. It would have been awesome to do videos because you wouldn't have heard all the wind noise in the videos, but you know what? Farming comes first. Farming will always come first. It has to, okay? So it's a little too windy to spray today. So uh, you're gonna have to put up some put up with some wind noise, and we're going to play around with all four of these tractors. Really, it's just gonna be a battle of the tracks. I just brought the 1050 in because uh, you know she didn't want to be by herself. So uh, <laughs> so let's go around some specs here, and uh, let's talk about the videos that we're about to do. So this Fent 1167 is powered by the 16.2 liter MAN engine, the same engine that was in that Ideal 10. Uh, Fent combine that I uh, demoed last year that Aco dropped off. Um, our Ideal 9s have, I do believe, a 15.2 uh, liter engine, but this has the 16.2, okay? Um, it did come with 30 inch tracks, I do believe they told me, and they stuck the 36 on. It's just how it was loaded up, and they stuck a used set of 36 on, but at least we have 36. Um, obviously, these tracks will widen out, they'll come out to here. Hence the bar, but due to this thing is going back to Texas, um, they are not going to widen it out, just due for transport. Makes sense. This one is weighing in at around 59.5 or something, just, just, just shy of 60,000 pounds. And I do believe you can put up to 63 or something like that on it and if you can put 63 most likely there's got to be a way I can get 65 <laughs> well Mike I have a question before we keep going um I thought you said that this thing was going to be here for seating what are we going to hook it to um obviously we all know you're done seating uh how are you ever going to get to play around this thing just driving around empty um it's a very good question let's address that right now Echo did say that this thing was going to be coming the one nice thing I really appreciate about Echo especially when you know going back to the ideal 10 last year when they say that something's going to get dropped off it's going to get dropped off it might be a little bit late maybe it's a little bit early but it's going to get dropped off uh, you can count on that so it was supposed to get dropped off end of may and typically we're still seeding end of may but remember this year uh we started seeding far far earlier than normal and this has already been planned a long time ago so anyways i'm grateful that it did get dropped off and we're just gonna play around and just do what we can do with it, okay? So in saying that, let's take a quick peek here. It does have the Cat 5. I'm not a big fan of Cat 5, but anyway, it's got the Cat 5 hitch. It has the uh, automatic, apparently what this thing is really known for is its automatic hydraulic swinging hitch, okay? You can also run it manually, but it's automatic if you put it in automatic mode. We are running eight hydraulic outlets, which is impressive. Um, each stack, I do believe, represents one pump. It's two pumps. 
Um, I think I think they told me that it was 119 gallons or something like that total flow. You guys, you got to remember that they told me this, and I was still running what 40 or 30 some hours, 30 or 40 hours no sleep still. So uh, you have to bear with me. They probably thought that man, what's wrong with Mike? He's not acting himself lately, and uh, well, that's why. We got the weights going down the inside. We got some wheel weights. Okay. For charging, you got your battery. It looks like a toolbox in there. Let's open the hood. Apparently you don't have to use the key on this all the time. Oh, but I do need two hands. One to push the button. There we go. I do believe there's two styles of front weights. You can get like the suitcase going across or you can get the one uh, solid weight. I think I personally like the one solid weight. Hydraulically run uh, fan, just like the 1050. Where's this air filter? Looks like right there. How do I change that Mamba Jamba? So no air filter stack, draws it out of here just like the 1050. That's most likely problematic. It sure is on the 1050. There's your air filter. Yeah. Mike, why is that problematic? <clears throat> if you can see over here on the John Deere, it draws its air from actually about the same height as the cab because you want to be as high above the dust as possible. Well, the 1050 is actually drawing it lower. And uh, yeah, you plug the air filter all the time. But anyway, we'll just assume that it's very similar to the 1050. All right, what else? Well, let's take a look in the cab though, shall we? So, oh yeah, there's your fuel, there's your def. Plastic fuel tanks, you guys know my thoughts on plastic fuel tanks. Yeah, I know, I know. Steel's got its own issues as well. So the cab, I think it's like between a hybrid of the last Challenger cab, definitely the Challenger steering wheel, and Fent. It's kind of like a, a hybrid. Obviously it's very similar. It's same armrest as the 1050. Given a few buttons. Um, this whole thing reminds me very much of the 930, not the steering wheel, but uh, how the dash stays and then just your uh, telescoping steering wheel on the 930s. Do we have at least a heated and cooled seat here? We do have a heated and cooled seat, that's good. Cup holder over here, decent. Where's the cup holder over here? Oh, it looks decent, I guess. Easily accessible, that's very important. You got little lights, windshield, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's about it, nothing. You know, nothing, uh, not gonna lie. Like I just picked up the new, uh, new uh, 724 Gen 6. That's a really nice cab. Once you're playing with that cab and all those buttons and features and screens and half of it I still don't even know how to run yet. When you step back into this, or even the 1050, well, actually anything other than Gen 6 in the Fent realm, it feels like you're stepping back in time. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's, the cab seems dated and slightly archaic. What they need to do is they need to get the Fent 1 in here. That's what they need to do. Well, before we fire this thing up, Let's go look at all of our competitors. Sorry, I had a call come through. Over here, we have the 9620RX. Um, this is the heavyweight out of the bunch. This is gonna be the best competitor, though, that we have uh, with the horsepower. So this is rocking the 15-liter Cummins engine in here. Um, this tractor has these extra weights on it and is weighing in at right around that 65,000 pounds, give or take. Extra weights in the back. Okay, 
yeah, you guys, you guys have seen this tractor. I seeded with this thing all season long. Then we got the Fent 1050. Ashton was seeding with this. Um, it's weighing in at around that 57,500, give or take, pounds. It's got the triples on it, big 3,300 kg up on the front. It is a really awesome looking tractor. It is rocking the 12.4 liter MAN engine. So the two track Fent has the 16.2, this is a 12.4. I asked whether the rear end and the transmission and everything were similar. Couldn't get a real straight answer. Uh, I had heard rumor it was, uh, like obviously it's the same design. Um, I'd heard rumor it was the same size, but that just doesn't seem right that you could have that 670 horsepower running out of something that only has 500. So, so that is still a question I would like to have answered. Obviously the components I would just assume are a lot bigger. So that's the 1050. Then over here, last but definitely not least, we have the John Deere 2-Track. This one's weighing in at around 50, 58, 57, 58. This 2-Track is darn near the same weight as the Fent, or you could say that that 1050 is darn near the same weight as this John Deere 2-Track, weighing in around that 57, 58,000 pounds, okay? Now this this is no new 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 two track, and I know you guys are like, well, Mike, you can't compare this older two track. What is this thing? 2013, 2014? Yeah, it's something like that. Got about 4,000 hours on it, but it really pulls hard. Um, the track's getting quite warm. We're gonna have to put some new tracks on it. But uh, we're gonna use it for ride comparison as well. This is the by far the roughest tractor that I have ever driven ever it's right up there with basically it's like a track skid steer it's ridiculously rough and i'm sure on the new ones on the new ones that they just come out with i'm sure they have some better uh suspension and whatnot but uh john deere hasn't brought us one of those yet so yeah we'll just run with what we have <laughs> oh and update uh, i do believe i did express interest in that new nine series there is a four track kicking around from our dealership and I was told that it was supposed to be down in my area this fall. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, I love all the colors. As you know, let's have ourselves some fun, friendly competition and I will let you go. So stay tuned for the next series of videos.